look at that. This is not a scene from a movie. This is a rodent problem right here in Cleveland. Rats running all over Public Square. We've got uh, had our cameras catch a couple on a bench. Well, we've been uh, getting calls about this, so we decided to check it all out. Our Jim Nelson has been in contact with the Cleveland Health Department. He's live in downtown with what he found. Jim, uh, do they have any idea what's behind this? Well, Chris, they think that construction might have something to do with it. Basically saying that, look, the rats have been somewhere forever, but now they're being forced out of their comfort zone and finding a new home here. Rats sprinting across Public Square. That was big, like a big gopher rat. Like, it was crazy. In and out of the flower beds, along the ledge, across the walkways, even racing down the benches. Calls coming in to the 19 troubleshooters about this. Not small rats, but big rats. A downtown Cleveland hub filled with people at quitting time. Now they've got some company. They just run around like they're human. We checked with the Cleveland Department of Public Health. They've had inspectors out looking into the increase in rodent population, which isn't so much an increase as it is a relocation. The health department believes construction of the new Sherwin-Williams headquarters could play a role. That work disrupting the rats' normal sewer hiding places, driving them above ground and over here. They also blame food waste being left out. Critters love that stuff. Some need to be done. Well, what can be done? The health department offered these tips. Eliminate food sources, remove water sources, also encouraging contractors to set traps before work. You see rabbits, squirrels, chipmunks. I guess the rats just got to join the rest of the pack. <laughs> A lot of people probably seeing that video and thinking, can the city just exterminate them? I did ask the Department of Public Health about that. They said right now they're in discussions with the Public Square Group Planning Commission to figure out what is the best course of action moving forward. Worth noting, the city's big Christmas tree lighting celebration and ceremony is coming up about a week and a half from now right here. Live on Public Square, Jim Nelson, 19 News.